Hey there everyone, Atesh here, back again with another video and this video is all about domain names. There is a lot that you should know, there is a lot that where you should give your thoughts and in this video the thoughts are a little bit all around the places but these are all the information that you should really really know and understand before buying a domain or just give it a general thought. Let's go ahead and talk about domain names. Recently, I've been buying a couple of domain names. Some of them are really, really expensive. Some of them, I'm not able to get them. I also own a couple of three-letter domains like lco.dev, and I'm also buying some of the expensive ones like buildresume.in, and a couple of them I'm trying to buying, which I'm not getting. This made me realize that there is a lot about the domain name that is going around and there's a lot of thought process among variety of us which thinks that domain names are important, which says domain names are not important. So let me present all the sites here and let me decide you that are domain names still important or should you be buying one or not? Now first and foremost, I would like to address those audience who say we don't need a domain name for even our own portfolio. We are just students. We don't need domain. We can use free domains via Netlify, Warcell, Amazon, and we can just work around with that. We don't mind having a .netlify at the end or .warcell at the end, or even GitHub provide pages. We can just work around with that. Now, at this point, I completely disagree with you. Even if you're presenting your portfolio, your resume to any company, these Netlify, Warcell domain doesn't really intrigue anyone. These doesn't look professional. And especially when these days when domains are available like .tech domain just for 75 rupees or .info domain for just 300 rupees, how long are you going to save that amount of money and keep on buying those McDonald's burgers? So get yourself a domain, point it wherever, Warcell, Netlify, anything that you want, but at least get yourself a domain and host all of your projects there. It looks tiny bit more professional. Okay, so now that you're on the same page with me that yeah, we should actually be buying the domain, but the next question comes up is, should I be buying a .com or a .in, .app, .io, .tech or something entirely different on all of that? Now, selection of a domain is entirely very tiring process. I completely agree on that part. But the bigger question here is that, is .com still relevant? See, we have come really, really far in buying the domain name. On March 15, 1985, Symbolics.com was the first domain that got registered, which changed the entire internet history. And still, you can visit that website and they openly claim that, yeah, we are the oldest of domain name. But surprisingly to you, for entirely over a month, nobody cared about buying any domain itself. On April 24th, 1985, so you can see that there is almost a one month gap, the second domain that got registered was bbn.com. So again, you can see that previously people didn't care about the .com or any of the domains. But interestingly, you should also know that a lot of marketing and a lot of money was poured into the .com domain because the big businesses were buying the .com and they want to present an authority over the audience mind that this is the only domain you can trust and they are not totally wrong. In the initial days of computer, a lot of people were playing tricks on these .com name. So for example, if you have xyz.com, people were buying xyz.net or .org and were putting up malicious file. People were not that smart at that point of time and they were visiting these alternative website, getting their computer crash. So eventually people realized that if this is a .com, this means that is reliability, that is a guarantee. And all other domains means scams, maybe viruses, maybe uh, something malicious links or something like that. So yes, over the time, .com was getting a lot of priority and even search engines were giving a lot of priority. But the important keyword here is were. Domains are still a fascinating subject, but not to the recent startups and entrepreneurs who are getting started. Now the .io domain is quite a lot preferred, .tech domain is quite popular, .dev domain is popular among the developers as well. In fact, here's an interesting study that I would like to present to you. And most importantly, this study is from March 2017. So yeah, it is old. And that makes this study extremely, extremely interesting. This is a study from YC Combinator, which is like uh, the mecca for all the startup founders, they all love to go there. And there are other startup studies as well. It claims that in 2017, there were only 68% of startup which were owning a .com. So you can see this is flushing down from 100% to 68% in 2017. 
<laughs> you can imagine how this is going down this uh, year into 2022 or 2020. This is even falling down. A lot of domain doesn't even care about .com. They in fact like to pour in money to establish their brand and create a unique identity with different and unique kind of domain names. And do you know any startup which came up around in last five years and doesn't own a .com domain and still insanely popular? Let me know in the comment section which such startup is something that you know about. Okay, so this might bring you to onto a page where you say, yeah, .com is not that much relevant these days, but hear me out. That's why I told you this video is as extremely interesting. There's another side of the story as well. There are a couple of companies which are extremely popular. One of them is Delicious. Delicious got their domain extremely sorted out, very creatively, very amazingly. But where they are right now, at delicious.com. Another interesting example of a company who doesn't own a .com but still extremely popular is JoinMe. So join.me was their domain, but where they are now at joinme.com, which eventually got acquired by another company, but that's another story. So still, we can see that there is still some relevance onto the .com. And which brought me that how much money somebody can spend in buying a .com domain is insane. Even there are a lot of things these days which are not so good while purchasing a domain. Companies might show you that, hey, this domain is available, but when you log in, move into the purchase section, they say, hey, yeah, this is not available, pay our manager extra fees and we might be able to get it for you. And you will be surprised to know how much people are willing to pay for just a .com. So carinsurance.com was bought by paying $49 million, insurance.com, uh, private jet, voice. I do understand uh, some of them are pretty interesting, like at number 10, 11, 12, 13, these are interesting, but for carinsurance.com, almost 50 million dollars uh, that's that's crazy for me and another side of this story is domain can also attract some kind of scamming techniques and a whole lot of things still in India a lot of people are not aware about how to check properly domain and that is where subdomains also come into the picture for example big banks like HDFC Bank uh, SBI, they don't own a proper domain like hdfc.com or sbi.com. For example, SDFC owns hdfcbank.com, SBI owns online sbi.com, and sometimes people trickly buy some kind of similar looking domain and they put uh, this as a subdomain, so online sbi.something.com. And people see, yeah, this is a, a bank website and try to get scammed. So there is another side of story that as well. Okay, if this all is sound fascinating to you, let me bring you to another side of the story the single letter domain which is also another interesting subject now on the dot com there are no single letter domains available of course obviously but there are certain dot co a single letter domain which are available for example t.co is assigned to twitter.com and they bought it i am pretty sure it was really really hell of an expensive but some of them are owned by just one company Amazon, k.co, z.co, these are all owned by Amazon, just one company. Of course, g.co is owned by Google, but yeah, they are not available for you or me. Sadly, I wish I could have owned just h.co, but I don't have that kind of money. Also, almost a year ago or a little while ago, there was a news that Elon Musk bought a single letter domain x.co. If you visit this website, there is nothing on the website as of now. There is just x, the letter x. I'm pretty sure this is bought by Elon Musk. Otherwise, who would be crazy to buy it and park an x just there? Although in the domain registration, if you look for who is, it is owned by GoDaddy itself, but I'm pretty sure this kind of craziness, he has got this one. Okay, this brings us to the final topic or the final section of the video, which is Web 3.0. Now in the Web 3.0, a lot of domains are getting attention as well, especially the .eth domains. And interestingly, a lot of people have already registered the domain if, with the name of Google, even McDonald's and a whole lot of others. Some of them are owned by a single person, entity or company, whoever is, their address is there. But yeah, these domains are also getting pretty popular. Have you got any ETH domain as of now? Because I haven't got any one, but I'm definitely planning to buy one. Also, just as a side note, rediff.com was the first Indian domain that was registered. So yeah, I was looking crazily all over the domain while searching for my domain. So I thought, let's share this with you as well. Now, coming back onto the topic as a summary of this video. Yes, domains are pretty important, pretty interesting. Some people prefer .com, some people prefer a non.com domain, which can be a little bit more on the affordable side. But having a .com domain or any domain is really, really important. So make sure you don't skip out that kind of a thing as quickly as you can get, just buy a domain for yourself. Maybe you'll be able to keep it for a longer time. It will give you more authority over the internet. You can put all of your portfolio or maybe one day you can launch a product with that. And this brings us to the sponsor of this video, Hostinger. 
Now we use Hostinger quite a lot in working with all of our clients. Now whenever a client comes up, we always ask them that, hey, please buy your domain from Hostinger. Hostinger got a lot of good support and I think that although we are helping these businesses creating their websites or apps, the domain is something really personal and should always remain with the founder of the company or the owner of the business. That's why we always ask them that, hey, please buy the domain by yourself. And this is such an easy and simple process there. And especially domains like .online, .tech, they are available just for 75 rupees there. Pretty good services and wherever you want to point these domains, maybe on Netlify or Warsaw, it's just a simple, easy process. The renewal is also easy and reliable. That is the most important thing. A lot of companies at the time of renewal, they add extra fees, extra charges, making these domains really, really expensive. I have never faced such issues in Hostinger. That is why I personally recommend it. There is a link in the description section which gives you additional 7% discount. So may maybe you are looking up for buying a domain or not, just look and search for some of the fun domains. Maybe you are able to find that or not. Hit the link in the description section or the first comment. Check it out, try it out, and at least search for one domain and tell me what is the most unique domain that you are able to find using my link. I'll reshare that on my Instagram story as well. But yeah, this guy was lucky and was able to find a unique domain. So share that on my Instagram and I'll reshare that definitely. And yep, I'm still on the journey of buying a couple of more domains. So hunt is still going on. <laughs> Aquel se besó de cuenta que aquí perdió esa mujer.